Hey guys and welcome back. This is Sharisi and we are here today for an important announcement and that is that I have finally finally completed the animated deco sim tutorial. So for those of you who have been waiting, it is finally here and going to be dropping this Friday and Saturday. So we are announcing this in this format again just because I enjoyed doing it with the, what is it, the clubbing NPC pack. But what's crazy is that one, that first render I did for my YouTube video changed so much between the beginning and then the final version of that. But if you don't know, this tutorial has been putting me through so much. I think a couple a few days some time ago i posted it i finished the outline for the animated deco sim tutorial right and then this past weekend i was just i was staying up day and night to just finish it i wanted to get it done i had a specific vision for what i wanted and it is done however i am very very tired well, I say, I'm gonna say partially done because for the tutorial, there are essentially going to be two versions. There's going to be the Patreon version and then there's going to be the YouTube version. So the Patreon version is for my tier threes over there who are interested in the tutorial. And that one is basically going to be a seasoned version of the tutorial, I guess you could say. So it's going to be more tips and tricks that I've had. Um, you know, one thing I realized is that I think at this point I have made somewhere near 200 animated deco sims and that freaking, that is insane to me. Like, wow, Jesus. I was adding up the numbers the other day, adding up the numbers. I was, I was trying to and I realized that and that is insane. But what was it saying? Okay, yeah, so the Patreon version is going to be like the seasoned version of the tutorial. So it's going to have more in depth explanations. Everything is going to be detailed. It's going to show more visual explanations. It's going to have the kind of the tips and stuff I've learned along the way. And it's going to be explanation heavy, I guess, about everything kind of like been making the sims 4 and making items for the sims 4 in general navigating sims 4 studio and then of course making the animated deco sim and for the youtube version oh and then also the patreon version is also going to have more options for support and help over there you'll be able i'll be able to respond and help people more over there and then also send people will be able to send pictures in the community chat, I believe, of any problems or issues they'll be having over there. So it's just more explanations, more in-depth things, more, more support over there. And then for the YouTube version, it's gonna be slightly different. So it's gonna be like a, a watered down version of the Patreon one. It's going to be kind of, I don't wanna say shallow, but there's gonna be less detailed explanations of how everything's working. Don't get me wrong, following the tutorial, you will still be able to make an animated deco sim. Like it's still a tutorial. You'll still be able to, you know, reach your end goal of making animated deco sim. It's just going to be less in-depth explanations. It's, you're gonna have, I'm gonna upload some files for the Patreon members. So it's not gonna be that. It's not going to be less help that I can give to people in general just because text, like leaving a little comment is not enough. <laughs> um, sometimes even without a topic as complex as animated deco sims, people will leave a comment and I'll be like, I have no idea like what this conversation is about whatsoever. I feel so bad because I have literally messaged people and I've been like, yeah, I'm so lost. I have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> we're talking about so i could only imagine that with the anime deco sims like the anime deco sim tutorial so the help was going to be limited y'all but i don't know rewatch the video <laughs> the re the video. we're gonna try we are going to try so hopefully that explains how that's gonna work out and i think the 
Patreon version is going to be dropping this Friday and then the YouTube version is going to be dropping on Saturday. Now the reason, the primary reason for that is just because I have yet to edit down the YouTube version of the video all, all the way and I finished the Patreon version. I think so the way the Patreon version works is it's each step is going to be its own post and then they're going to be together in one collection so then you could comment on each step so we get specific on what the problem is and also of course as i said before use community posts and then for the youtube version it's going to be one video and then i'm just going to divide the steps by chapters again it won't be like i'm providing no help on youtube if you have any questions it's just going to be more limited but if you do have any questions on YouTube, I need y'all to like cite your sources. Like this is a freaking essay. Okay, I need you to be like in timestamp, blah, 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 chapter bank, you know, section 182. I got confused here. That would be really helpful. <laughs> if you if you really want to get some help, that would be amazing. But discussing this cover, I was really... I don't I think a part of it is sleep deprivation. I had one vision I knew I wanted for it. So I knew I wanted the uh, the like robotics workstation that comes in Discover University and I kind of wanted the deco sim to be like the robot right in the like the quote unquote servo in it and then for my like real sim, right? to be the scientist ro robotanist roboticist engineer robot robot to be the engineer we'll go with that sure and that was about all of <laughs> that was about all i had um so after that it was really just shots in the dark to see what worked but i think it turned out pretty well i also love any excuse to be able to use these eyes i did on the deco sim they are created by the they're for free they're free blender add-on made by the creator tiny naki i believe on youtube and twitch and they are a a like a blender sculptor and i love watching their live streams and videos they're so fun but i wanted i love an excuse to be able to use their eyes on my sims so those are the eyes that the deco sim currently has also one thing i will say why do i always get texts right i'm like okay one thing i will say though is i am extremely proud of me separating that like robotics arm thing because that's usually attached to the shirt and what i'm i knew the arm would be able to work but what i'm glad i didn't do is delete the fingers oh because i was i was messing with sculpting and i was like lick my patience my patience is running thin for these little like robotics finger things but i think it looks super cool i would have made the glasses be able to glow more too but then it was messing with the transparency and it was also like irking me so we didn't end up going with that so this is the way it looks I also decided to kind of I wanted the to like to push the you're not real is that how that goes you need to okay gosh just can you tell I'm tired the kind of like robotic build the deco sim so then I put her like in this gown right I don't know like you're you're a clone in the making you don't get to wear my clothes just yet like girl put on this hospital gown even though in the blender scene you see her literal jeans poking out from underneath it also one thing it has been a hot minute since i've been this intimidated by freaking lighting i think part of it's because i didn't export this as a blender scene and i just put it together in blender itself i think when you have it at least as a blender scene and you get to see it in sims 4 the, oh, I've, dang not me forgetting <laughs> the name when you get to see it in the sims 4 it at least helps you come up with an idea or like a vibe it helps you determine what you want and i didn't have that for this so i just had to think of it the thing is like you could play with lighting in the sims 4 and it'll take like five minutes and then you'll be like eh, you know i don't like lighting let me go ahead and change it right in blender for me i could spend like two hours trying to get down the lighting 
right? Leave and come back and then hate it. And then my two hours are gone and now what am I gonna do? And then start from scratch, like, that's insane. And you know, lighting, lighting is just, she's intimidating. She always will be intimidating. It is what it is, you know? One thing I've also, I keep starting with one thing. That's my fat transition, but let's blame it on the sleep deprivation. I was struggling really hard with the background for this as well. Part of me feels like this metal wall thing I have behind it is too much, right? Like it's too busy, especially since I was, I took some time to try to separate the foreground from the background. And what I mean by that is that like the overlapping grays in the workbench and then the background. I was trying to make the workbench more shiny and hope the lighting would push it up. I also made the background bur burry, blurry more, but I don't know how I feel about it. But then when it came to a background color, I was also unsure of what I wanted for that. I was kind of leaning towards a greenish color, as you can see. But then you have the problem of the plum bob also being green. So that kind of just shifts the problem over there. But then I liked the plum bob because I feel like it helped push that like, this is the sim, right? And then this is the robot clone person on the other side. But I think it came together. So here is what the final render. Don't even get me started on the font choice. I'm still unsure, but you know what? This is what this is what we could send for now. I'm probably not going to go back and change it. So this is what we're going to send. I may change the font the font type, but this is what we have currently. This is what is going to be up. I also made another version of it with the green background instead of the walls, but then it kind of just I'll show you. It it looks like the it kind of looks like a, like it's a green screen, right? <laughs> like it's supposed to be replaced with something else. So thank you so much for watching until the very end. And I hope that you're as excited about the announcement as I am. I have put a lot of effort into this tutorial. So I hope that comes through and you watch it and you're like, dang, this is the most clearest thing in the world. Like, how could I have any questions? Because I understand everything that just happened. But I'm not gonna lie, even when I make animated Echo Sims now, I mess up. Like I literally messed up while doing the tutorial. I edited it out, but you know what, it happens. So we're going to end this video off here and I will see you guys later. Bye.